A local family is now grieving a Topeka father's sudden death at work on top of all of it. In a story that you'll only see here, KSN2 News reporter Hannah Brandt joins us live from Perry now to share their story. Hannah. Yeah, Molly Brooke, right now a lot of people are out of work or working from home, but Bernard Singleton was an essential worker. So on Friday, he was driving his trash truck route here along Highway 24, and that's when an unexpected accident took his life. At 4 a.m. on Friday, Bernard Singleton left his Topeka home for work. And by 5 p.m., his family was expecting him home because his son Desmond was turning five and they were going to celebrate with dinner and cupcakes. I tried calling him a couple of times Friday evening to see where he was um, and his phone was just going straight to voicemail. It was around 7 p.m. that Topeka police knocked on the Singleton's door. That's when I realized that something might be worse. And on Saturday morning, investigators found Bernard and his truck in the Delaware River. Heartbreaking news for his wife and kids. That was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I was telling that daddy won't be back. I don't know how to be a mom and a dad. And heartbreaking news for his sister Laverne. My brother was everything to me. That was my right hand in. I'm trying to hold it together for my family because I'm the oldest. They'll miss the funny, creative man who was a talented artist and a loving dad, but they won't be the only ones missing him. My heart is broken in so many directions. It's, I don't feel like it's ever going to go back together. Because it's not just for myself or for my boys, but for everyone he knew. Everyone loved him. And they hope his short life is a reminder to everyone. Just cherish every day. We thought we had so many more. He was only 32. We were supposed to grow old together. That you never know how much time you have. The last thing we said was, I love you. He was like, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. And because of social distancing, the Singletons tell me they can only have a limited number of people come to his funeral. But Corey says as soon as this is all over, they do plan to have some kind of big gathering so that Bernard's life can be celebrated with his many, many friends. Live from Perry, Hannah Brand, KSNT News. Thank you, Hannah. A truly heartbreaking story. And to hear her say she doesn't know how to be a mom and a dad, just heartbreaking.